Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Dan Hewitt. Robotics controllers in Houston removed two payloads from the external trunk of the Dragon cargo craft this week. First up was the High Definition Earth Viewing or HDEV camera system, which was attached to the outside of the station and is already providing HD views of the Earth that are available online. Next was the Opal's payload, which will test using lasers to transmit stronger signals with more data from space down to the ground. This week in Station Science, Commander Koichi Wakata worked on an experiment that hopes to help solve a key space health issue, muscle atrophy. I am focusing and working on an experiment called the Cell Mechanical Sensing, which is an investigation to identify gravity sensor in uh, muscle cells uh, and uh, this uh, study will help develop a new medicine or countermeasures to muscle atrophy. The results could also help out those on the ground with similar symptoms like patients after surgery or people with forms of muscular dystrophy. This week Nick asked, do astronauts have to worry about getting sunburns while looking out the windows? Actually yes, astronauts do have to watch out for sunburns. Most of the windows, like those in the cupola, have a UV protective coating but there are a handful that don't. When using these windows, the crew is encouraged to wear sunscreen, even sunglasses. Star Wars Day, May the 4th, is right around the corner, and the excitement isn't just here on Earth. Astronaut Rick Mastracchio sent down a message from the ISS, but he did need a little help first. Looks like we're having some communication issues. Looks like we're back now. To everyone on Earth, from the International Space Station, may the 4th be with you. To check out the May the 4th events happening at a NASA Visitor Center in your area, go to visitnasa.com. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground This isn't the show you're looking for. We'll see you next week.